Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the doorstop bracket on your refrigerator door. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, since we'll be removing either one or both doors from the refrigerator, we'll want to turn it off first and remove any items that are on those door shelves. Just open it up, turn the refrigerator off. Move any items on the shelves. And then next we'll take the hinge cover off of the top hinge and remove the three screws that secure the hinge to the cabinet. Normally these are 5 16 hex head screws. You can lift that hinge off and set it aside. Then we'll open that freezer door part way and then we'll lift it off of the hinge pin from the center hinge. Now our next job will be to remove that center hinge. So the screw that's on the outside edge, we'll use a 5 16 wrench. And just loosen that enough that we can slide the hinge away from it. And we'll remove the screw that is closest to the center. So make sure you support that door. Remove that center screw, slide the hinge away from the screw on the edge, and you can lift that hinge completely out of the door. Now we can take that door and lift it off the lower hinge. We can now take that door, set it on a suitable work surface, and we can change out that lower door. So next we'll remove that retaining screw for that door stop. We'll hang on to the screw. We can discard the old bracket, and we'll just clean that area up before we install the new bracket. So we'll take the screw, slide it through that screw hole. Then we'll position it on the door so that the raised edge is towards the front of the door. Now just make sure that as we tighten that screw, that the hole in the bracket lines up with the socket on the bottom of that door. And just make sure that we have the hole in that bracket lined up with the socket for the hinge as we tighten that screw. And now we can put that door back on the refrigerator. Now with the door start replaced, we can then set that door back onto the lower hinge and start our re reassembly. Now we'll carefully position that door onto the lower hinge pin. Just pivot the door into position. And typically the gasket will hold it in place. We'll then take our center hinge and bracket, slide that into the socket on top of the door, rotate that hinge so that the forked end catches that screw on the edge of the cabinet, and then we'll start the other one by hand. Once you have it started, you can then tighten that center screw and using our wrench, we'll take the screw on the outside edge. And now we're ready to put the freezer door back on. So next we'll position that door on top of that center hinge, pivot it into position, and just let the gasket hold the door to the cabinet. We'll take our top hinge, insert it into the door first. And we'll line up the screws in the cabinet. We'll start those by hand may need to maneuver that door a bit to line up the holes in the hinge with the screw holes in the cabinet. We want to take caution that we don't get those screws in cross-threaded. We won't tighten those just yet. We want to ensure that we have the door lined up properly with the cabinet, and then we have an even gap between the fresh food door and the freezer door. 
So if need be, you'll need to either push or pull that hinge till we have them straight, and then we can tighten those screws. Check the alignment again. Make sure our gaskets seal properly. We can then put the hinge cap back over the hinge. We're ready to turn the refrigerator back on. And your repair is complete.